Secretary Chu, I, I know you're familiar with the Idaho National Laboratory and its two missions uh, of uh, obviously research uh, and of cleanup. And uh, the Department of Energy very wisely has separated those two over the last decade or so. And uh, we've, and you also know that, that the state has had a, some difficulty with the department. Uh, in fact, we litigated the issue of the cleanup over at the laboratory. And I'm wondering if you're familiar uh, with the agreement uh, that was entered into and that was court approved uh, that resolved the issue of a cleanup over at the, uh, at the INL site in eastern Idaho. Uh, I, I, no, I'm not familiar with the details. Okay. Well, uh, Secretary, let me, you're not going to be able to answer my questions then, but I'm going to ask you to follow up on it. Uh, let, let me tell you briefly, uh, after a considerable amount of litigation, uh, the state and the DOE entered into an agreement whereby uh, the DOE would remove uh, the, all of, essentially, the nuclear waste that was left over from the Cold War. And uh, the INL played a role just as uh, uh, Rocky Flats and Hanford and all the other sites did. We're the only one with an agreement. And the DOE uh, agreed that they would remove uh, the waste. The, they're doing well. They're keeping up with the contract. Uh, the waste is being removed uh, to uh, the WIP site. Unfortunately, there is material that is not qualified for the, lips, for the WIP site, and uh, it was anticipated that that would go into Yucca Mountain. Now, I understand in answer to Senator McCain's question, you indicated that, uh, that the, the United States has no uh, plans to uh, activate Yucca Mountain. And so the question I have for you, which I suppose you can't answer at this point, is what are you going to do about the contract that requires you uh, to remove materials uh, that, are, that are of such a level that they can't go into the WIP site? Well, this goes to the um, sense of urgency that uh, uh, Senators McCain and Murkowski talk about in terms of developing uh, uh, an improved approach to dealing with uh, high-level nuclear waste and so it's uh, it's certainly going to be um, we'll be looking at this very intensely over this next year but secretary I, I with, with all due respect I, I appreciate that um, but I can tell you that this contract is very clear and it's it is a court in the form of a court order that it has to be moved um, do you have any thoughts right now as to where uh, if you're not going to go to Yucca Mountain and and this whole thing with this whole thing with Yucca Mountain not going to be used is a relatively new thing. Certainly when somebody made that decision, when the new administration made that decision, somebody must have had some thoughts as to where, how you were going to keep your, your um, agreements on removing the high-level stuff from places uh, like Idaho, where you were required to by court order. Um. In addition to that, I should also add that uh, we have obligations to the utility companies for similar uh, disposition of their waste. And so, but, but uh, with the well utility companies, all you have to do is pay a fine, and that's been going on for some time. Not so with the Idaho contract. You've got to move it. So, what what what, what was going through people's mind when they said we're not going to use Yucca? Where, what where are you thinking you're going to go? Um, I think as I said before, that there are other options that we, we uh, will have to look at. Uh, and uh, quite frankly, I think there would be better options. But, but at this time, uh, I'm not willing. Again, I would want to seek the advice of uh, some, some deeply knowledgeable people on this. Well, well, these options you referred to, can you tell us what these options are so that we can be thinking about them too? I think um, it would first. It, um, it's going to be a mixture of, of uh, short-term uh, sites. Uh, well, there is some several layers of, of short-term sites, of um, longer-term, and and then finally final disposition. Uh, I think it uh, probably will have to be geographically distributed in some way. Other than, you know, that you know one location, one site would probably not work. It, but these are sites that you have not. Located or identified or that's, or, that's uh, correct. Gotten at this point. That's correct. C have you got an idea of how long this is going to take? Because you're under some real time constraints in the Idaho agreement. Uh, as I said, that uh, we will be uh, assembling this and, and getting a report uh, sometime this year. And I agree, there are real time constraints. 
Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.